toes till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Starting off with the moisturizer, I'm using a Tatcha's water cream. And I'm just digging my nail in there and putting it all over my skin. And for brows, we're gonna go in with Benefits Precise in my brow pencil in shade five. And we're going to line out the brows like I usually do. Kim's brows in this ad are super, super deep and dark and full. So we're just going to recreate that with going in with the brow pencil first, filling in any sparse areas, kind of mimicking brow hairs with short strokes, and just blending it out. I'm just filling the tail end here. I'm just blending as I go. And I, it's so funny how you'll love one more brow than the other. Like my right brow is so annoying compared to my left brow. My left brow is just so much more cooperative. So much more easier. I believe that I should probably tweeze some more hairs on my right brow, but I'm a little scared. So I'm going to fill in with browsing. So this is in shade 5 as well. And I'm using an ABH uh, 12 brush to do this. Anastasia Beverly Hills, I just do ABH because it's just easier than saying Anastasia Beverly Hills. But <laughs> I'm just going to fill this in and just kind of make it a little bit deeper and darker and full. To conceal, I'm using Tarte Shape Tape in Light Neutral, and then I'm going in with an E68 and just blending the concealer through and bringing it down towards the eye and just sharpening and cleaning up the brow area. And after I clean with the brush, I just bring it down and then just blend everything out with my finger I'm just bring it towards the lid. I feel like my finger is just the easiest tool to use when I'm blending this concealer up because I kind of like warming it up so it's not super thick and it just blends really nice with the eye. I like to put my finger on my eye. It just, just blends out easier and it's a little bit more gentle than a brush. I'm using Clear Brow Gel by Anastasia and just kind of flicking the brow hairs up, making them look nice and hairy. You guys know that I like that look and just kind of separating them and making them look nice and full. Now to prime my eyes, I'm using Painterly Paint Pot by MAC and I'm using a sealer brush by Makeup Addiction Cosmetics and just bringing that down and just making sure I put that all over the eye. For the palette today, we're gonna use the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. I'm using this Rose Gold Set by Morphe. What a beautiful set this was. I'm not sure if it's still available, but I'm going to use the blending brush that's from the set. And I'm going to use sandalwood, and this is going to be our base color, our transition color, but really the only color um, that we're going to be using for the crease, because this is just such a simple look. Kim had a super simple, um, just a little bit of contrast in her eye, but nothing crazy or dark. Everything was kind of very bright and open. So we're gonna keep this look as open as possible. And then I'll go in with Bay with a shader brush from the Morphe collection again. And I'm just putting Bay all over the lid and just packing it on and then sliding it across back and forth and just kind of blending it down. So these are the only two colors that we're using because this was just such a simple, easy, beautiful everyday look and I just wanted to keep it just like that just simple and easy and not complicated for mascara I'm using Tarte Tardis mascara and I'm not sure if Kim had extensions on or what but I think that her lashes were super nice and spidery and separated so I just decided just to use mascara and just you know put about three coats on and the look was very, very similar. I love this mascara. I forgot how much I loved it because I was using the Marc Jacobs for so long. But, you know, fell back in love with it. Mm -hmm. For primer, I'm using Huda Beauty's Complexion Perfection Primer. We want our skin to be super, super hydrated and supple. So I'm using this primer. And I love this primer, especially for the winter because it just really, really moisturizes and preps my skin for foundation. For foundation, I'm using the Veil Fluid Makeup by Hourglass in beige and degree four. I'm not sure if that's you know super particular or what, but I'm just saying it. And I'm using an Morphe M462. This is a probably light to medium coverage kind of brush, and that's exactly what I want because I want this to look super, super natural. 
and you know by the self um, by itself the foundation is very very natural very dewy looking literally like skin and that was a perfect choice for this look so I'm just putting that all over bringing it down to my neck slightly and just blending it out for concealer I'm using Tarte Shape Tape again and I'm using the light neutral I'm just going to highlight some areas not going too crazy going down the nose and the chin a little bit we want to, you know, highlight those areas as we usually do, but nothing too drastic because we want it to look natural. I'm blending it out with the Tarte Quickie Blending Sponge. And this is damp. You guys did not know that because I always see that in the comments asking if the sponge is damp. Yes, my sponge is always damp. I let it run under cold water and then I squeeze it out with a towel, paper towel, regular towel, whatever I have in front of me. And then I'm just also going to cut the under cheekbone area so we have a little bit of detail and contour there and then I'm just going to blend down the nose and on the forehead just a little bit now we're gonna set just a little bit just where the eyes crease underneath I'm just putting a titty titty little titty titty tit a little bit a little tad of it underneath there and for contour I'm using the KKW Beauty contour 6 in medium and I'm using the darker shade and just contouring out my forehead my cheekbones my nose my chin a little bit and these happen to blend out super super naturally so I I mean, why not? It was a Kim Kardashian look, so why not just use that? And to blend it all out, I'm using a Sigma F64 brush. This just blends it out super softly. I used to use the other brush, but I actually need to clean it. But this does, you know, the same kind of job. Just using circular motions. You know, keeping it light on the face so I don't take off any crazy amount of product. And then just kind of keeping that moon shape or that three shape going towards the nose now just kind of slightly blending it a little bit on the forehead and then I just use my fingers to blend out the nose because that's just the easiest way to do that for blush I'm using peaceful by Tarte this is just the most natural brush I've been using lately it's just like a little flush of pink and it's just perfect for this look I'm using an f10 by Sigma and then I'm just going to kind of blend everything out with the bottom of the Quickie Blending Sponge. And then I'm using an E30 by Sigma and Sandalwood and just brushing it under the lash line. Slightly smoking it out. This kind of adds more to the natural look. Kind of just gives you more of an eye-opening look. If you have dark bags, it kind of opens your eyes up a little bit. Contrast with that. So this is definitely a good tip for anyone that struggles with that. I actually learned that from Tyra Banks. Interesting that I just remember that. For highlight I'm using Oyster Liquid Glow by Anastasia and I'm putting it on my fingers because that's the easiest most natural way that I've you know figured out how to do it and how to apply it without it ruining foundation or powder or anything like that. So I just put it on the back of my hand and just apply it with my fingers and then blend it out kind of hitting my face lightly and just Putting some on my brow bone as well. And just, you know, overall glowing. I'm using a little tiny brush from Sigma, I forgot the number. I'm just putting it on the inner corners. And then I also put it on the center lid just to kind of make those lids glow because I actually, in the picture, realized that her uh, lid looks super, super big and bright. So, for a lip moisturizer, I'm using the Hourglass Lip Oil. And then for lips, I'm using Hazel Lip Liner by Kylie Cosmetics and just putting that all over. And then I'm using this Opal and Jade Becca Liquid Crystal Gloss. It's a topper. So I actually like that I put that brown neutral under. And then, yeah, that was it. The lip was super simple. Setting with Rose Fix Plus by MAC. And that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this Kim Kardashian-inspired look. It's so funny, my first video on YouTube was a Kim Kardashian inspired look and I forgot how much I love doing inspired looks. If I should do more, comment below because I really do have fun with them. Uh, comment below what you guys want to see next and yeah, subscribe if you haven't already, thumbs it up if you've enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.
Love you guys. Bye.